Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info's down in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box if you are interested as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive a link to your reading. Okay, so don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell, Virgo. Your overall energy is the Queen of Cups. So you're in this very, they're saying, emotional space, very intuitive feeling space. You're in your emotions or will be a lot. Take advantage of this, they're saying, for creative purposes. Now you also have the chariots, the hanged man, the six of cups. You've got L strength the shadow cat here inner strength and the nine of wands hmm. so you're doing a lot of thinking about the past here virgo now this could be just your childhood this could be a childhood sweetheart love in general you're thinking about they're saying cohabitation. So somebody that you at least lived with, this is whom you're thinking about from the past. Hmm. You're choosing to see things from a different perspective, this past love. You're balancing out. It's like the good and the bad. You're balancing that out within you. All right, so tell me about the Queen of Cups, the Six of Swords. It's, see, you're preparing yourself for a new journey ahead. And you know that there are aspects of the past that need to be purged, and this is what you're doing. Yeah, see? L Expansion, the Shedding Snake, Knight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So you're finding that peace within you, within your heart space, getting ready for new love, getting ready for a new you, for a new experience. Understanding as well the Nine of Wands here, which is your wall that you've put up. And you're going to discover what this wall is and why it's up. And it's within your shadow space that you will find find the why all right and with the why will come expansion of the heart give me a kipper on this queen of swords please yeah courtship so while you're going through this process you may encounter somebody who uh, offers you love, which can also be that you do have the Knight of Cups here. I'm feeling it as your heart, but with courtship here, it could be in addition to you expanding your heart and looking within your heart. This calls in uh, somebody for you, a soulmate possibly. We'll see, but it feels very comfortable. It's going to feel familiar, they're saying, familiar. As if you know them. So it's got to be a soulmate, probably from a past life here. Tell me about the chariot. Now, some of you may also be moving. Uh, this is also talking about the balancing of the masculine and feminine. And they're really, they're saying hitting the mark. And I feel like it's the mark within your heart. Hitting that mark of balance, of discovery of that divine. And allowing that discovery of the divine to glow about you so we have the ace of pentacles we have the hair font and we have the heart yeah see that's what i was getting with this the heart and you're taking the opportunity there's a lot of love opportunities that are coming your way but in addition to love opportunities there's spiritual opportunity you're tapping into something that you haven't before or you will be and it's because of the balance yeah see 
and it's funny courtship is a four which is the house that you know is ruled by cancer here you have to have cancer in your chart because when i said that i don't know something rang true with cancer so there's a familiarity familiarity of this person that feels like home your expansion of your heart space is bringing in this opportunity and many more opportunities that will follow this may lead to marriage here for some of you if that's what you're looking for tell me about the hanged man okay all right part of this nine of wands is trust mm -hmm. all right wow so the hanged man clarifying this is el mask the hidden wolf we have the three of swords we have the moon and we have temperance so this is about that past person this is about finding out what was hidden within the past and i feel like this person may have lied to you betrayed you there were hidden things that you didn't know about that just broke your heart but you you're coming to terms with it this is what i'm saying you're finding the balance uh, within this situation with the with the good and the bad and you you do have guidance from your angels here okay with temperance here virgo and this is going to allow you to create this beautiful relationship that that is just familiar bad health oh you too huh there was another sign that was connecting this to bad health you may have had a lot of health issues when you were with this person and you're connecting the dots here you're discovering that yep you're discovering that a lot of concerns that you had a lot of this could even be mental uh, mental illness i'm getting they're saying yes yeah. so this may have been mental illness uh so many things within this relationship just were very concerning to you and affected your mental state there could have even been gaslighting that's what i'm getting so there are fears that you're dropping within this nine of wands that somebody would do that again that somebody may be a wolf in sheep's clothing i don't feel that you're going to have this fear to the extent with this person because of this familiarity that i'm feeling this comfort with this person this they feel safe they feel like home right that soft place to fall that's what they feel like so tell me about the six of cups okay yeah again this is the past el caution the heedful mouse five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles so you put in a lot of work within this past relationship and this this caution you were cautious and fearful within this relationship that something was going to happen because you felt it you felt neglected you felt a lack of love a lack of intimacy and you put a lot of work into this but i feel like you did all the work there was no reciprocity and this was because what i'm feeling is a third party and this is what was found out yep and implemented change here but you're coming to terms with this and this is what i love you're coming to terms with this guardedness this wound these wounds I, you know as this person is walking in it's it's almost gone and this is why you're going to have this acceptance of this love and you're ridding yourself of the fear of the distrust tell me about the shadow self and the nine of wands we have the knight of wands I feel like you've put your wishes and your dreams on hold for this past person. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Knight of Wands. It's time for a new adventure, they're saying. 
the devil, the master of lies. Yeah. So you're looking at this past person again, dealing with your shadow. This is all setting you up for this other person that comes in this courtship. This is implementing change. This, they were a part of your destiny, believe it or not, this whole experience. But your recognition of it, you're trusting your recognition of this. And you're trusting that if you see it in another, you're not even going to move forward. It's like you're, you're, you're stopping it. You're not going to stop this though. Not this courtship that's coming in. They just said a romance to remember. It sounds like a title of a movie. Toil and labor. You put so much work into this. Oh. I mean, you rule the sixth house of work and health. Thoughts. So, I cannot even tell you how much you're going to expand and grow from this and how much luck is going to enter your life with this person. There's stability there's shedding a layer of you. There's becoming a whole new you. Wow. All right. So what is your advice? Sage purity. What is this? The shadow self here. Again, dealing with the shadow self. The dark inner swamp. They're wanting you to keep digging. The tower. Keep digging. Have strength to keep digging. Go deeper because there's a huge awakening that will, wow, cleanse your soul. Cleanse your soul and elevate you in the spiritual aspect, which is what I was feeling over here. So when you think you're done, keep digging because wait, there's more. Yep. It's going to be worth it. it. It's challenging to get through. Yes, but the experience is undeniable and the rewards are great. Dream. This is your advice. Dream. Connect to your intuitive dream world of metaphors and symbols. Okay, so connect to your dream world, Virgo. Keep a dream journal. That may help. Okay, all right. I hope this resonated, Virgo. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way, this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Virgo, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day, Virgo, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.